Hey guys, it's your girl Kyla B. As always, welcome back to my channel. I want to share with you guys what I've learned so far on the sister lock journey, lock journey, whatever you want to call it. I want to share some of the things that I've learned going through this process so far. Well, one of the main things that I noticed with sister locks all this time is that a couple days after my retightening, my hair usually shrinks. So for instance, say I get a retie today, my hair looks like this, right? Three days from now, my hair is like, all the way up here two times shorter i didn't notice it in the beginning but as my hair has gotten a little longer i do notice because i always take pictures on retie day if you don't you should just to keep track but i do take pictures every time i get a retie and i notice that a day or two later it's always shorter looking than the day that i took pictures so that's one thing that i've noticed so what i do after the first few days after wearing it down because I normally wear my hair down like the first week week and a half I get it done I just wear it down afterwards I put it in a ponytail usually on the top of my head and then on the back of my head to just stretch it out and then I let it down so that it, it still has its length but it does lose volume when I do that so that is one thing you should also take note of I don't know in the long run if I should just be leaving it alone or pulling it back but for now I'm pulling it back let me know down below if you guys want me to do an eight month update video. I'm contemplating whether or not I'm going to do it. But if you guys want me to do an eight month video, just comment down below eight months and I will do an eight month video, an eight month update video for you guys since my eighth month anniversary is next week. Another thing I noticed about my sister locks that I really can't stand is the way my hair looks after four weeks. After four weeks, my hair is so frizzy. I'm like... I need to get a retie. This is this is not cute, you know? Um, strands seem to be all over the place. But my hair is soft and I had the same problem when I had box braids or any other hairstyle. It's probably broken pieces of hair or something, but my hair always sticks out of whatever it's in a couple weeks in. Like, I'm used to it, but I really dislike the way it looks. Hold on, let me fix my eyelash. Okay, I really don't like the way it looks after four weeks by four weeks it gets really really frizzy there is one thing of course that you can do as I told you guys in one of my previous videos what I do when my hair gets frizzy is I just spray it with a little water and tie it down it makes it smoother for the next day so I can usually make it to my five weeks but it's like I have to wear it up I feel like I have to wear it up I mean you guys make it seem like my hair always looks fine but to me I have to wear it up because I don't like the how frizzy it how frizzy it looks when it's down after four weeks. So I usually go for a five week retie, even though I can go for six, just because after four weeks, I'm like, uh, let's do something about this. <laughs> like my hair is two weeks old now. And I think around two weeks is my preference. I don't really like the first week is a little too fresh looking for me. And as I told you guys before, I like my hair is a little lived in. Yeah, this is two weeks. As you can see, still looks fresh. You know, here's a texture shot for you guys. I know that's what y'all came to see. And then this side of here. You know. But yeah, this is this is how I prefer. This is my favorite kind of time for my hair when it's at two weeks. I prefer when it's about two weeks. Ooh, another thing. I can't say I've learned this because I kind of have always known. I can't do tension. I know now, like, sure, I used to get headaches before. But I feel because I'm not in my hair and I'm in my scalp as much as I used to be when I was a loose natural, Ponytails and buns are even more like, they give me headaches so much faster than they would have when I was a loose natural. So that's another thing that I've noticed with Sister Lux. So loose ponytails, loose buns. I don't go, I don't double over. I use new scrunchies, same ones that I told you from before. I put one scrunchie on and then I put one scrunchie over it. I don't double them up because I really cannot take the tension cannot take the tension cannot take the tension it's just entirely too much for me so 
no tension. Another thing I've noticed with my sister locks, when I just got my sister locks and I posted maybe like three or four posts on my Instagram about it, I lost like 200 followers. And I remember I was talking to one of my best friends about it at the time and he was like, really? And I was telling him, you know, um, I guess I was a little too natural for them. I don't know, but I did notice that. So I lost like 200 followers on Instagram when I just got locks. I'm not gonna lie, I felt away for like all of five minutes. After that, it was like, you can go, you can go, you can go, you can go. I really don't care. So everybody's not gonna be on board with your sister locks, but that should not matter. It's definitely about what you want. If you want them, you get them. If people decide they don't wanna follow you, they don't wanna support it, well, the truth is, they can go. You don't need them. So even though I lost those 200 followers, thank you to everyone else who has followed me on Instagram or TikTok or YouTube or whatever, so who has been following me to be a part of my journey. I appreciate you guys. You guys more than made up for those 200 people that stopped following me because I have gotten way more, uh, way more Instagram and YouTube friends than I lost. So it's fine. And you guys know, like, I really have conversations with you guys on Instagram. Like, we're friends in real life. I can't help it. If you have a question, ask me on YouTube, ask me on Instagram. I promise I will answer. Another thing that I've learned in the last few months is that I really don't like seeing these white bulbs in my hair. I really don't like seeing them, I'm not gonna lie to you. I would love to say that only I see them, but I know I'm sure there are other people who see it as well. It's really not a big deal, it's just a hair follicle at the end, but sometimes I'm really just like, ugh, I don't like how this looks. Not a big deal, like I said, but now that your hair is locked, you know, the strands are not falling out anymore, so they're just staying in your hair with your locks. It just is what it is. Not something that I like, but only when I'm all up in my hair like this do I see it anyway, so... Since most of the time I'm not, and you guys definitely are not, it's not that bad. But I don't like it. Just wanted to throw that out there. So there is something about my locks that I don't like. The last thing that I wanted to mention, I don't know, maybe it's my experience, but at first I was going to say sister locks attract a different type of man. But I can't say that that is true for me. Because the guys that have always tried to talk to me always were into that natural kind of thing anyway. And I've kind of been natural, so that hasn't changed. But what has changed is that men compliment my hair way more now than they used to. Like, I'll be walking in, and what, I re what really surprises me is that they know what sister locks are. They'll be like, I like your sister locks. And I'll be like, oh, thank you. Surprised that they even know what they are. But I get more compliments from men than women, like, in real life on my hair knowing what it is calling it by name oh i like your sister locks like i'm really surprised that they know what they are you know surprises me every time so yeah those are just a few of the things that i've learned in my seven almost eight months being sister locked uh not a big amount of things but just some things i wanted to share with you guys if you guys have had any other kind of similar experiences go ahead and drop it down below if you've experienced something that i haven't mentioned please go ahead and share because I'm so interested in learning what other people have experienced while they've been locked. And again, if you want me to do an eight month update video, make sure you comment down below, eight month update, and I'll be sure to put that video up for you guys next week. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and hit me on Instagram, go ahead and hit me in the comments, and I'll get back to you. So, until next time.